welcome back. In the last session we learned about geodatabase domains which are helpful preventing users from entering the wrong value for field values and also helpful for checking for any potential errors in field values. In this session what we're going to do is geodatabase topology which allows you to check for potential errors in spatial relationships among layers. So for example, add random points and rectangles, UTM, to a new data frame. And what we want to do is we'll go to the table of contents and instead of list by drawing order or list by source, go to list by selection. And then right mouse click on random points and make that the only selectable layer. And then we'll edit that layer. So right mouse click on random points and edit. And then use the edit tool and grab some random points and just move them so they're outside of a polygon. And then save your edits and stop editing. Database topology occurs at the feature data set level. So if we right mouse click on our feature data set, and then new topology. So we get this new topology wizard and what we'll do is just click on next and then we'll name our topology. So our topology will be points in rectangles, whatever you want to call it, no spaces. And then next and then select the feature classes that are going to participate in this spatial relationship. So random points and rectangles UTM and then next and then we'll give those two layers a rank of one by default and one is the highest possible rank and then next. So then we need to tell ArcGIS what our rule is. So we're going to add a rule and our rule will be random points must be properly inside rectangles. So here we've got the rule description. So if you click on and off show errors, the points in red are portrayed as errors. So here's a red point, it's an error because it's not inside a polygon. Here's a red point, it's an error because it's on the edge of the polygon, it's not inside the polygon. Likewise, these points are an error because they're on the edge of the polygon, they're not inside the polygon. So show errors basically shows you a cartoon of what the special relationship is. And then also it describes point features from layer must be properly inside the features from another layer. Any point not inside a polygon feature is in error. And then OK and then next and finish. So that creates a topology and it says, would you like to validate? So would you like to make the spatial relationship check? Yes. So that gives us a new topology object in our feature data set. And if we right mouse click and go to properties, it has a tab for errors. So let's generate a summary. Did it find any errors? And it did. It found six points that were not properly inside the rectangles. Okay, so then what we could do is we'll go to our table of contents and let's add a new data frame. So insert data frame and remove our old data frame. And then from our catalog, we'll just drag that topology into our data frame. And do you want to add all the feature classes that participate? Yes. So in our table of contents, it shows us the points that are in error so these red points are an error. So then what we want to do is go to our topology layer properties and then symbology. So uncheck line errors and uncheck aerial errors. So we've got point errors symbolized by this symbol and you could change that if you want. So I could make it a smaller symbol for example. And then just check that layer on. So there's our errors we need to fix. So once again what we can do is we'll edit our random points and get those points inside rectangles. 
So once again, if we go to list by selection, right mouse click on random points and make that the only selectable layer, and then edit random points. So start editing. So then we'll grab our random points and put them inside polygons. And then save edits and stop editing. Okay, so then if we go back to our catalog window, we could right mouse click on our topology and then validate one more time. So the topology has been validated. So if we right mouse click and go to properties, generate a summary. And there are zero errors in that topology. So all the points are inside polygons. And if we go back to our table of contents, we could turn on our points and rectangles, and we see there are indeed no errors. And we could right mouse click, go to properties, and errors, generate summary, there are no, all the points are properly inside the rectangles. Okay, so that's geodatabase topology, and it occurs at the feature data set level because basically you're looking at the spatial relationship among feature classes inside one feature data set.